we got Roheezy versus Classic. Roheezy. Shout outs to Roheezy. Roheezy is um one of the the last, yeah, probably the last actual recap I did on this on, on iBattle in general. Roheezy was a big part of that. And it was the first time I'm hearing about him. He was like, right. I seen the bars. It was a lot of potential, but I seen where he could get better um, with the content. It was like the jokes wasn't really hitting with the punchlines and haymakers in the past. But this is the best Roheezy I've seen right here. Like probably three times I've seen Roheezy. This is the best all around. Um, and going against Classic, I never seen Classic, then I heard Classic. So my prediction from the beginning was Roheezy was going to kill this. And like I said, with the best Roheezy from the from the beginning, that was uh, Roheezy first round, 8 out of 10. Some people probably might give it a 9 out of 10 if you really break down the content. Like, he got into <laughs> how um, Classic got a manager and what is 15% of nothing. He just started getting into the economics of how he's a nobody and it was just like a crazy angle he took. So he was good with the angles and mixing the jokes. The bars, the lyricism, shout outs to Roheezy from the top. But that first round, classic got it. I was shocked. Like I said, I'm going to say this again. That was the best round I've seen Roheezy. And um, that was the best I've seen from Roheezy, that first round. And then classic, never seen and heard a classic. That was just, uh, it was unbeatable for Roheezy after like halfway through the battle to be, halfway through the round. The It was the only thing, see, Roheezy is good because Roheezy got the performance, the jokes, um, and the bars. Like, you can't deny Ro Roheezy is a lyricist. But he added the power of them bars with the content. Like, it, it, it was a bigger impact and the angles he hit. But the only thing is that Classic has all of those. Classic probably wasn't joking as much, but Classic actually has, like, real haymakers and room shakers that – it, it kind of like overemphasizes all the jokes. So even though Roheezy, he killed it. He controlled the room. It wasn't just jokes, though. I'm not going to act like it was just jokes. Like I said, fire contact. But it was real. I enjoyed it more from an entertainment standpoint. Like it was a clap. It was a good battle. Just that a good round entertainment wise from Roheezy. But bar for bar, I can't lie. Like classic. That was just too fire. Um, he just was. It was like I said, too much. He, I, like one thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a full recap and go go through um all the bars. But one thing that stood out that was crazy. This was like the halfway through the round where Classic basically took the round. Roheezy basically had an angle saying that all Classic do was he's like a uh, a basic um classic battle rap um he's a just like a basically a build it be a battle rap if you want to hear you. Put the gun bars, little drug bars, struggle bars. It was funny. It was like, it was a funny angle with funny jokes he was saying. And when um, Classic started rhyming, he was rhyming just like that. So it sounded like Roheezy angle was perfect. And it still was a good angle. But Classic was making it too fire for you to just laugh at it. Like, after a while, he had a drug bar. I didn't, it was just so fire. He basically was like, yo, um... I was wrestling with the pot and I wrestled with it uh, until you could smell what the rock was cooking. Oh my, yo, the, the, the room just completely and the ship that everybody energy, you could tell that that was Roheezy house and they was rooting basically had Roheezy on the pedestal kind of like with the crowd reaction. But once like classic hit that bar, the room the energy just shifted. And from there, just keep it a buck. Like first watch, Every round, back to back to back, Classic had three nine out of ten rounds. Nine out of ten. I'm rating off the delivery, performance, flow, the, um, content, um, perform, all this stuff. What are you, um, slip ups? All of that stuff is included. And Roheezy, second round, eight out of ten. Third round, six out of ten. He keep, you know, first two rounds. He probably kind of wrote up, like, because like I said, that first round could have got a nine or eight, but the second round definitely was an eight. And um, it's like he wrote from first round being the hottest. That's what he spent. And then he laid, he, he saved his weakest for the last. And classic, all three of his rounds was actually the same. Like, he could have spent them in any order. It's going to be a 9 out of 10. So classic got that 3-0 from first watch. But that was a fire battle. And for that to be the first battle, 
or like think about it like even with the six out of ten in that third round it was a we kind of it was a week his weakest round in a way but it, you still had a hot round because classic had some fire with the nine so this was a fire first round um uh, first battle of the event so this started this event off on a good note even though a lot of people might not know classic uh and rohizi this was hot and the person who was the most known rohizi is basically the name of the a side of this card of this battle classic actually won so you're gonna see this for the name and still get hot balls from both but you're gonna see somebody new classic definitely stepped this game up shout outs to classic classic did his thing classic was talking him. classic was talking him. I always like to salute the rappers though too all the stuff the the all the talking and the back and forth and all the the, the bad vibes that they show with each other throughout the battles talking about families and all that disrespecting in any type of way gangs and all that they still show love at the end that's what it's all about this is all entertainment we already know how that is, the performance of it and all that, how that could be a little nasty if you can perceive it that way. But a lot of people like wrestling, no matter what, even if they know it got fakeness in it. So look at all that stuff that they be talking as just like wrestling, basically. It's all entertainment.